is up the way k squad i am back with another video and it is just a random video i'm bored trying to get this homework done i'm so 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 sleepy so i'm just gonna come on here and talk to you guys um i realized that we don't really be talking to y'all i don't understand oh my lash is so annoying i don't do this lash stuff so I always look at look at my lashes and think they jacked up but anyways um yeah i realized that we don't really be talking to you guys so i kind of want to start talking to y'all more um let me know if y'all want me to stop start talking to y'all more um and i will so right now i am eating a sour head i'm so sleepy i'm really just trying to keep myself up so, it's watermelon flavor. Ah! Mm -mm. This was not the right thing to do. Yuck. That definitely woke me up. Mm, mm -mm. Um, um. Watching the ID channel. It's crazy. They thought um, a man killed his father and mother, but they just found out he wasn't involved. I was thinking about doing like a segment on our wednesday videos and like have a kind of like a talk about it wednesdays like some people do talk about it tuesdays um i want to do like a advice wednesday talk about it wednesday like what if wednesday Ooh, a what if wednesday i think i like that like, i have you guys, like, give me what-if scenarios, like, hypothetical or something that's actually happened to somebody you might know or yourself and what would we do type thing. I think I like that. Let me know if y'all like that. I gotta ask my social media if they would like that because... Uh, My assignment is a uh, social problems. I gotta do analyze a social problem. I'm gonna do drug abuse because it's close to me. So. It says, describe your selected social problem in its social context. So my social problem is drug abuse. I was talking to my little sister and I was just like, it really seems like people didn't pay much attention in health class 
back when we were in the 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, 11th grade, like, I feel like I'm probably the only one that kind of, like, really took from health class. Like, those videos they used to show, like, I really paid attention to those. That's a lot of the reason why I don't do a lot of the things that I don't do. Like, sorry, somebody just wrote me. Like, one reason why I have never, ever taken part in doing any drugs, like, I've not tried, wanted to try nothing. The only thing I have actually tried is uh, to smoke cigarettes. And I, I only did it one time. I snuck my mom's uh, cigarette, um, went out to the car, lit it, <laughs> smoked it, and almost choked myself to death. <laughs> I was so scared that I was going <laughs> to I was so scared I was going to die. I never did that again after that. It was it was a terrible feeling. Um, yeah, but the one reason why I never did that is because of uh, videos that I used to watch in health class that basically said like, if you can try something one time and end up being hooked, and I used to like. They used to show videos of the drug addicts on the streets, like, scratching and itching and, like, doing anything for money, begging and uh, watching movies of people getting pimped, basically, for money and to do drugs and stuff like that. Like, I was like, I don't ever, ever want to be like that, like. I never want anything to have that much control over me and my actions and decisions and behaviors. So I was like, nope, I don't even want to try because I might try it and get hooked. And then I'm going to be out here. Mm -mm. Like, not saying that anybody that's on drugs is a bad person because once you, again, once you try it and you get hooked, like, it takes control of your brain. So at that point, you can't help it. Like, you're stuck. And a lot of people don't know how to get away from it. So it's just sad. Really sad. Let me know if any of y'all, like, took something away from, like, health class that y'all still stand by today. Like, because it's almost, what, my 10-year reunion for high school was in 2019. So, it's been a good 15 years, really, that I didn't had a health class, and I still stand by a lot of the stuff that I've learned and won't get into. I'm so sleepy, y'all. I really don't want to do this homework. But this would be my problem. That's why I had to turn the camera on because it's just like, if I'm not running my mouth, I'm going to just be like, all right. I'll do it later. <laughs> but it's due today. I'm kidless. My boys are with their dads. So the little kings are gone. And it's just the queen today. So I really need to take this time that I have and do this homework because when Eris gets back I'm not going to be able to do anything at all but chase him around 
because he's walking now, my big boy. And he don't be he don't be still. He didn't he was never still. He wasn't still when he was cooking in the womb and he's not still now. Every five seconds he gotta do something. Y'all don't even understand how tired I am. What is this? I hate writing papers at school. The only time I like writing papers if is is if the topic is about me, which is such a shame. It seems so conceited, but it's just like I can talk about me all day long because I know me, so I have a lot to say. But when it comes to stuff that I don't know. And I have to look up and research. Oh, it drives me insane. I'm so sleepy. I know it's probably getting on your nerves. I be feeling so bad for my friends and like coworkers and stuff because. If something is wrong with me, boy, I'm going to say it and 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 say it. It's just like, I know, either do something about it or shut up, but I don't know. I just, just say what's on my mind and it be on my mind all the time. Like if I'm hurt, my stomach, if my stomach hurt, boy, you'll hear me all day. Come out some. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, my stomach hurts. It's like, okay, girl, shut up. But it's just like, mm -mm. I don't shut up because I just be saying what's on my mind, and on my mind is that my stomach hurts. Excuse me. I got this other uh, sour head. It's a lemon flavor. I ain't about to eat it. Oh, I'm cold too. I really just want to lay down. Eris is going to be back home at 8.30. And I always do this. <laughs> I'm really trying not to. Then I'll just be like, okay, well, it's 5.40 now. So if he's coming home at 8.30... Then that means I can sleep for an hour, get back up, and finish my work. It never, ever works like that. I always lay back, lay down, go to sleep, and boy, I don't get my butt up until 8.30. Until I hear him coming in. And it's like, oh crap. And then I spend the next five hours trying to struggle to get the work done because he won't sit down for two seconds or take a nap or nothing. So it's just like, mm, do I want to struggle now through this sleep or struggle then with the baby? Mm -hmm. I got it. Five questions to answer. I think 
think like maybe if I do two, no, no, no. If I do three, then I can take a nap and then finish the other two. Let's see if I can do that. I'm not a fast typer at all. Very horrible typer, but. I need to start working out because I got all these fat roads everywhere. I feel like um, the field of study that I'm in is not, um, oh, okay, is not, um, one that I have to be, like, Super, super, um, um, great at the schoolwork, I guess I want to say, and in order to, like, do my job good, I think, like, my job, definitely, I'm able to, like, take what I've learned in school and like um learn some things um that I didn't know before and use some of the techniques that um I've been taught um or whatever but I don't think that it's um a do or die type of thing like I think it's more of a moral your own moral uh compass type of thing because i want to be a counselor i want to be a youth um counselor maybe maybe a family counselor i kind of think um i want to do a youth mentorship and i want to do um I might want to do a life coach. I might want to be a life coach, but I don't know. But I do want to do counseling and mentoring. Definitely. Definitely a go. Okay, I finished one. One. It says, use your sociological imagination to explain how the selected social, selected social problem is influenced by society. So how is drug abuse influenced by society because it's normalized it's definitely normalized it's like today's world being on drugs is like the thing to do like it's like you're not normal if you're not on drugs it's not like somebody was running outside or something but yeah it seems like in today's world you're not normal 
if you're not on some type of drugs. And it's just like this, this world is so sensitive that it's even harder for people to speak out against things that are not supposed to be considered good. Like, it's not okay for you to speak out against child abuse because, oh, uh, let everybody parent how they're going to parent. And it's not okay for you to um, speak speak on, I don't, I'm not even going to get on that subject, but it's just like, it's a lot of things, people get offended by if you're not okay with, so it's just like, the society has let a lot of stuff become normal that should not be normal, <laughs> but that's a pretty easy question, and then the third question is, Select a theoretical perspective. Select a theoretical perspective that best aligns with the social problem you selected to analyze in this course. show when they thought the brother did it and they had found out he didn't do it but then come to find out he actually did do it son killing his own parents so crazy Well, guys, I have run out of things to talk about. I'm so, 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 so sleepy. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and finish these last two questions up and take a nap. I got to. I can't function. I can't. My eyes are so heavy. Like, it's getting cold. I just want to wrap up under a blanket. Turn these lights off because my head is starting to hurt. Go to sleep. This man tied his parents up. And this is what I'm talking about right here. Actually, this go along with my homework. This man tied his parents up and stabbed them to death. Stabbed the daddy to death 33 times. Stabbed the mama to death 17 times. For money, for drugs and alcohol. Like, you know, his mama was so terrified and hurt to know that her own son that she gave birth to
in his own mess. Stabbed his mama to death. I was his stepmama. Oh, stuff like this breaks my freaking heart. Let me get out this TV and do my homework. Thanks for watching. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Please help us to get to 500 subscribers. Please. Thank you. Share, like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate you. And I did realize that in our seafood boil, we didn't thank y'all for getting us to 100 subscribers so i want to thank you guys everybody that has shared liked comment subscribed watches our videos like we really 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 appreciate you guys so thank you keep doing what you're doing and we'll be back